All right, let's roll up our sleeves and get Python set up on your machine. Don't worry, it's as simple as one, two, three. First, we need to download Python. Visit the official Python website, which is python.org. Once you're there, look for the Downloads section. You'll see options for different operating systems. Download the latest version for your operating system. It might be an executable file for Windows or a DMG file for macOS. Now, let's install Python. Locate the downloaded file and double-click it to run the installer. Follow the on-screen instructions. In most cases, you can simply click Next or Install to proceed. During the installation process, you might be asked to choose installation options. For beginners, the default settings are usually fine. However, if you're more experienced, you can customize the installation path or select specific components. Once the installation is complete, you'll see a confirmation message. When you install Python in Windows, you may get an option to add Python to path. Make sure to check that. The latest Python installer for Windows can automatically set the system environment variable path. On Mac, the system adds it to your path by default. That's it. Python is now installed on your computer. To verify if Python was installed successfully, open a terminal for Mac or Linux or command prompt for Windows. Type Python version or Python 3 version and press enter. If you see the version number, you're good to go. To see the Python interpreter prompt, type Python or Python 3 and press enter. Let's try a simple Python command. Type print hello world and press enter. If everything is set up correctly, you should see the message hello world printed in the terminal. While you can write Python code directly in the terminal, it's much more convenient to use an integrated development environment or IDE. IDEs provide features like code highlighting, auto completion, and debugging tools. Popular choices include Visual Studio Code, PyCharm, and Jupyter Notebook. Download and install the IDE of your choice. We'll be using Visual Studio Code for this series, but feel free to use any IDE you're comfortable with. In Visual Studio Code, we can add the Python extension from the extensions marketplace. In my case, it is already installed. Now, let's write a simple Python program. Create a new file with a .py extension. I am giving it a name PyTest. Inside the file, type print hello world. To run the program, click the Run button. You should see the Hello World message printed in the Output Console. Congratulations! You've successfully set up Python on your computer and written your first Python program. Now you're ready to explore the exciting world of Python programming. Follow the Python series and share your Python journey in the comments below. Let's create a vibrant Python community together. Until next time, happy coding!